Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. So let's see what's going on this week. We've got the Hermit card. All right, so you, you're you not reaching out. You want to be left alone. You need time alone with your thoughts. You could also be on some, like, retreat, spiritual retreat, just thinking about your own personal philosophy. Is it working for you? What you've been doing this far in life, has it gotten you the outcomes that you necessarily want? Um, some of you could be going to visit counselors, therapists, psychotherapists, whomever. Somebody that can give you guidance, okay? A guru, or this is you. Uh, let's see what the advice is. The death card. Yeah, you need to uh, bring an ending to some foundation you've been, you know, standing on here. It's not getting you what you want. You need to have some transition, some transformation within yourself. You need to you need to die to your old self. It's not working for you. Um at the bottom of the deck you have the world card. So something's definitely over. The death card typically talks about a relationship being over, but it also could just be a relationship with yourself. I'm hearing like your attitude, your personality, some part of you is just not working for you. It's working against you. So if something is working against you, and it's not working for you, it's not getting you the outcomes you want, then you need to change. Everyone else around you doesn't need to change, doesn't, you know, need to change. It could be you, you know, you are the common denominator. So something about change um, maybe with feminine energy, especially, um, you know, your foundation you need to take some time for self-care also. Again, coupled with the hermit, the death card, it's like you need to go on a spiritual retreat, this journey, and really figure out what works for you and what is not working for you in terms of your personality, your own personal philosophy. We get to create our philosophy about life, right? So you need to figure out if that works for you. Is it working for you? Um, being, you know, bratty, spoiled, loud, belligerent, um, crazy, whatever it may be. Is that working for you? Is your personality working against you or for you is, is what's coming up here. Um, and if you need to go talk to somebody, do so. The outcome here is the nine of clubs. Okay, so I'm getting what you want. Uh, make a wish it could very well come true says the nine of cups also it talks about um like um leisure and physical exertion so that that also could be like sex you know um i don't know if you you're fantasizing about somebody or fantasizing being with someone you kind of have to end something or you need to end something or somebody has taken a break from you also let's just look at this um and come out of the whole fact that maybe somebody needs to kind of change their personality. It could be that somebody has ghosted you. It could be a um, uh, fake sign, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. You ghosted them. They ghosted you. Um, yeah, the end of a relationship here. And somebody's wishing for this person to come back, thinking about the good times, thinking about the sex, the, the fun times, the drink, the the merry times, uh, the hanging out, uh, the good food, the good wine, the good drink, you know, all of that. Um, somebody's fantasizing in fantasy, hoping and wishing for the opportunity um, to be with somebody here uh, or to be back in their presence. Someone could be hoping and wishing that for you or you them. Let's see what the Kipper has to say. Somebody feels like something is completely over, like we can no longer... We can no longer go on this way. If we do go on, we can't go on this way. Um, somebody could be a spiritual guru. Somebody's tapping into what's going on, and they could be using that against you. Let's see. What do we have? Okay. Yeah, message, message of concern. All right, so you could be receiving a, a very concerning message. It kind of... A very abrupt message, maybe from a masculine energy that maybe he just is, he wants to be friends or he wants to end or he doesn't want to do this anymore. He doesn't want to be in a relationship or doesn't want to be in a commitment or he wants the relationship to transition or maybe he just wants friends with benefits, um, something of that nature. So some message comes into you that's very concerning. Uh, you're going to have to actually address this. 
um, maybe head on here. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your reading there. Find me live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You could just come for the collective reading. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Go over to the website, book there if you need a reading. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.